Hi there, Chris here with another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to continue our look at painting Cypher from the Triumvirate of the Primark box set. And as you can see here, we have the model already assembled. He is left on a pin vise, already just kind of pinned through the foot. And uh, he's been left off his base, so that's easier to get into some of those little areas in behind his robe. Otherwise, he is fully assembled, and he was primed using Vallejo Surface Primer, spraying it around 25 PSI. We're going to use Abaddon Black now, using a Badger Patriot 105, spraying it around 25 PSI. We're using a, uh, the Citadel Air Abaddon Black. And basically here, you can see, we're simply just going to run right around all the model here. It's basically covering everything in black. I do prefer to go this route rather than going with the black primer and then, you know, beginning painting as uh, it's not a proper base coat. It's, you know, just a primer. And primer is mainly for sitting underneath paint. Abaddon Black and Inky by Darkness in a one-to-one -one mix ratio with some uh, help from Lemayan Medium. And basically here, we're just going to slap it onto our palette, mix it up nice and even. Use a little bit of medium just to help thin it out just a bit. And uh, basically we're gonna turn it to almost like a glaze consistency. Uh, if you do turn it into a glaze consistency, uh, you just be sure to lay down a few more layers than normal. But basically we're gonna go about uh, halfway to about three quarters away on the armor panels uh, as we work our way around the model. So that means it's about three quarters of the way down the shin, ending at the ankle joint, uh, thigh joints, everything like that. Basically what we're gonna go for here is some edge highlighting, but we're gonna build this up here, mostly along the armor panels, uh, again, to build up that color gradient. And as the paint is thinned out, uh, you can continue to glaze in this process and build the color up to a nice strong edge. Next is Incubite Darkness, all on its lonesome. Of course, we could add more Incubite Darkness to this mixture and continue the glazing process if we were really going to go for a uh, smooth transition. But here, we're simply just going to do an edge highlight and we're just going to work through the colors uh, to get an interesting look to our black armor. You can see here, we're simply just doing an edge highlight. I'm using a detail brush. And very simply, we're just going to do an edge pretty much on all the armor. On the van braces and the arm, I do both edges of the van brace, uh, closest to the elbow and closest to the wrist. And uh, for the for the fist, though, I only do the uh, the edge of the portion of the armor closest to the knuckles. Uh, for the uh, shin guard, there you can see I do the armor closest to the ankle. I leave just that very hint uh, up by the knee joint. And of course, around the knee joint, around the icons, there's these little uh, skull motifs that are all around the model, and so. Uh, simply just do an edge around those as well as you work your way around the model. Stegadon Scale Green is next, and this is a nice uh, transition up from Incubi Darkness. You can see it's got a little bit more blue quality to it, but that's okay. It's a little bit brighter. Uh, of course, you could add just simply a little bit of uh, white to Incubi Darkness, or even make it really interesting. You could add something like Screaming Skull if you wanted. With the Stegadon uh, green here, you can see we're simply just doing, continuing our edge highlight, but trying to do a little bit less as we work our way around. So when you are doing your edge highlight, uh, make sure that you are doing less and less and less surface area as you work your way around. Otherwise, you're simply just going to cover up the previous highlights and you're not going to see the nice little color gradient. And that's the key to uh, doing color gradients on your models is that you are working less and less paint surface areas. So when you do like kind of a larger highlight, say for example, the full thickness of the brush, you uh, come in with the next one that's only about half that thickness. And again, the eye will see a gradient even though you know, there is no color blends or anything like that. Dark Reaper is next here. And again, this is a nice little natural progression upwards. This little scale that we got going on here. Uh, this is the way I like to do black armor is this uh, off blue tinge to the armor. Often uh, another fun way is, of course, to mix Sotek green, which is this turquoise color, which is a blue green. It's a really great way to... Uh, to highlight uh, black as well, because sometimes uh, th objects and things like that that are black in the sunlight will often show up kind of blue. If you see somebody with really black hair, it almost has like a blue quality to it. And so that's what this is duplicating is that this is so black that when you're looking at the light, it almost has a blue quality. Again, you can see simply just going less and less. And so any, as we work our way through these highlights, of course, you're covering less and less surface area. Thunderhawk Blue is next. And as you can see here, we're simply just going to go in and we're just going to do just the very edges. You can see on just on the shoulder pad here, just the very edges, just a little bit of corners here. I just do the corners and then I do uh, just the side of the bristles here and just catch that little line, just the outermost points here, just very, very lightly. 
again, you can see we're catching just the fingertips, the leading edge on the um, on the hand guard and everything like that. And of course, the shin guard is just going to be a very little point on the shins and the top of the uh, foot, those little guards that guard over the foot and ankle area. Again, we're going to catch just those top corners there. And of course, there's a few other panels inside the central port of the uh, torso as well. Those get highlighted as well. Uh, a lot of the portions, it's up to you if you want to do both edges of the armor panel. I find it's more a lot more dramatic if you do just one side of the armor panel and just build your gradient along that edge. But there it is. That's the armor in black. Don't be afraid to give it a try. We've got even more painting tutorials in the Silver Mini Wargaming Vault. You can sign up for a free 7-day trial. Make sure that you get the Silver membership and you'll get instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in our vault. And so thank you for watching and happy wargaming.